Welcome! This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 15th of April 2011. We still have incomplete data from some sources, so today's report will be slightly shorter than normal. I have contacted the folks at NASA and informed them of the problems, and I hope by tomorrow that they'll be fixed. So in the meantime, let's take a look at what's been happening with the active regions. We've lost region 1189 over the west limb. 1186 is fast approaching the limb and we'll probably lose that tomorrow. 1190s continue to develop a bit. The region that I mentioned a couple days ago coming over the east limb has now been numbered 1193. 1191 and 1192 are relatively stable. The region I pointed out in the southeast a couple days ago has now been numbered region 1194, but is not particularly impressive at the moment. True to yesterday's forecast, we had a whole host of new sea flares. I think there's seven more than there were before, but it's now getting difficult to keep count, especially with the x-ray background being so high. So any little brightening will become a sea flare. We have some limited data from stereo. Not their fault, that was my fault. But even in this short sequence, you can see some of the activity from region 1190, which with 1193, just produced most of the sea flares we saw earlier. There are still some glitches with the SDO data, but we do have more than we had yesterday, so I'll show you some of that. In the Sunspot and Magnetic movie, we can see the development of the new regions over the last couple of days. In the Coronal movie, we see at the activity in regions 1190 and 1193. If you look at the end in the northwest, there seems to be some sort of mass ejection going on, which we will get a hint of in the Coronograph movies to come. In the Stereo B data, we see that the regions that are about to rotate onto the disk are fairly bright but relatively stable at the moment. So we put all that data together in our full sun coronal image. We see that over the next few days we're going to lose several regions over the west limb. But there are some smaller regions that will appear over the east limb. And in fact tomorrow I expect to see in the coronal movie the first signs of region 1176 returning. From the Soho Lasco movie we can see that there's been some activity off both the east and the west limbs. What we're seeing on the west limb is the remnants of that injection that we saw in the X-ray movie earlier. The auroral zone seems inactive at the moment, which is reflected in the KP index varying between 1 and 3. So in summary then, the sunspot number has fallen slightly to 131, but that is still a pretty respectable number. The X-ray background has dropped down to B6. The radio sun is at 119 solar flux units. The solar wind speed has dropped further to 400 kilometers per second and the KP index is rated as quiet. So the forecast for the next 24 hours is that it's very likely that we're going to get more C flares. I think I'm dropping the chance of the M flares down a little bit because I don't see a major region developing rapidly enough to be producing M flares and the chance of an X flare is very low. We are still getting coronal mass ejections so I suspect that those will continue but the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is quite low. That's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.